Hello again, this is Ty Warner with KISSOFT USA. Today I'm just going to do a brief, brief uh, tutorial on how to change your uh, individual uh, accuracy parameters within KISSOFT. So we're going to open KISSOFT and I just grabbed this first cylindrical gear pair example. So it's pre it's pre uh, populated here. There's a strength calculation and rating factors, all that good stuff. So if we go ahead and run this and we see we have a, a quality ISO 1328Q6 right here, across here, right? And this little plus button is grayed out. And what this is called deviation from the predefined quality, which would be this quality 6. If we go to our module-specific settings, and then under general we can say varying qualities and click this, we say OK. Now this plus sign comes becomes active, right? So as a quality six, here's what we're going to look at. We're going to go ahead and run our report. Oops, let's go ahead and do a calculation first. Run the report. <clears throat> the report is generated, and in the report, we have, uh, this is a full report, so it's a detailed report, okay? And we're going to come down here, we're going to find our tolerances. Okay, remember which one is this here? Hardness. Gear accuracy. Okay, you see this 6, this is under section 7 in our report, according to ISO 1328 1995. Now if you remember, 1328, quality 6. In our report, you can say under each, like the single pitch deviation, base pitch circle deviation, uh, we have a quality 6 identified right behind it, okay? So say you want to change your radial composite tooth to tooth and open that up a little bit. Or maybe you want to open both of these up a little bit. Since we've already checked that module specific settings box for varying qualities, we go ahead and click on this plus deviation from the predefined quality. quality. <clears throat> and we look at the 1328. So the way KISSOFT defines this is it's our single pitch normal deviation. And this is our plus or minus deviation from the standard 6 that we hold right here. So if I want this to be a plus 2, and I want these to be plus 3 and, I don't know, plus 4, whatever. So it's going to be 6 plus 2, should, so this should be a quality 8, and these should be a quality 9, and that should be a quality 10 in our report. And it's going to say it's a deviation from the predefined quality, so it's the difference to the base quality. All right? So we hit OK. We run our calculation. And we go back to our report. Incidentally, if you want to um, have a report come up as a separate page like what I have here and not be in this uh, main window, you will go to Extras, Settings, and click Use External Editor, and that's for your report. And that will open in an external window like this. Okay. So I go here. Oh, okay. So now my single pitch deviation is a 20 and a 22, where prior it was, I think it was like a 11 or 12. And you can see here now this is an 8. So that's a gear class accuracy 8 according to this ISO 1328. You can see this is a 10 and this is a 9. And those are the ones that we changed. And that's how if you want to have varying quality levels within your uh, gear design, that's how KISSOFT would um, make those changes. <clears throat> If you can't get the exact quality or the the numbers that you really want here, you could maybe look at the AGMA, uh, and you can see um, you can choose from AGMA 2015, 2000, DIN, ISO, or DIN 3961. So that's how you make changes to the individual accuracy points in your gear design. Uh, if you go to report up here and say I just want to look at the, uh, the manufacturing tolerances, In fact, it was 11 and 11. This just talks about this 6, quality 6 here. Okay. 
But in our report, this is the basic tolerance for an A6. This is how each one of them compares to each other, okay? In our report, however, when we do a full report, let me get rid of this, do a full report, and go down to section seven, or, oops, too far, right here. You can see we were at 11, and we're now at a 20 because we, we loosened the accuracy grade on that um, variable right here for your pitch deviation for manufacturing. So that's just a quick overview of how KISSOFT, you can allow the user to change these different accuracy callouts on their manufacturing data. If you have any questions or concerns, of course, you can always contact me, ty.warner at kissoft.com, or you can go to our webpage, www.kissoft.com, and there are tutorials and uh, other information you can get a hold of us uh, through that as well. I hope you've enjoyed this, this quick uh, tutorial, and you can apply this in your designs and applications. Thanks for watching.